I'm sitting on my kitchen floor. My wisdom teeth are coming in. This one already came in a little bit. No, this one really came in, not just a little bit. And then this, I have two on the bottom, and then I, I don't have one in that side. So I was gonna get them pulled, but then I thought it might hurt, and I'd have to wear those stupid gumball things in my mouth that make you like, you can't talk. And so I decided to wait. But now this one's starting to um, be a little sore. And the one that already came in is sore again, which is stupid. So I had to look in the mirror the other day and tell him, you need to be nice. You can't hurt like that, okay? You already came in and you had your turn. Whoa, that's like a horse. Nar nar nar. Whoa, it's like a horse. Nar 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 nar. Oh, look at those are beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Check that out. Can you see in there? <laughs> okay. So I was eating candy. It's called Mike and Ike's. And they're kind of chewy. And someone told me that if you hold them in your hand, They're not as chewy. So I tried it and I'm trying it and I'm trying it. I forgot to eat a test one. Still waiting. Have you ever taken like more than one stick of gum? I did that. I moved out of the house and I was like, I'm free now. I'm eating two sticks of gum. That's a lot of my kind of like. Wow, they're so chewy, my hand hurts. So anyway, my, my wisdom teeth, I don't know why we have wisdom teeth. If you can pull them and stay just as smart, but maybe, maybe it's something not in the tooth, but in the wisdom. So people with six wisdom teeth, I mean, Einstein probably had eight, maybe 12. I only have three, so I'm a little, just a little dumb. So, my hair is really messed up, and so that's why I'm wearing a hat. It's a pretty cool hat, though. There's a big X. It's to end slavery in the world. So, it's a noble cause. Wow. All right, so, whoa, I'm a little sticky now. So I have these, which I kept. A little present. They're kind of sticky now. Not because I sweat, but because... My hand smells like Mike and Ike's. All right, so I'm gonna eat a pink one. Much less sticky. Actually, that one was about the same. But it was pink, so. Why do I keep looking down at my stomach? It scares me. It sticks out like a bowling ball. Wow, it's the end of the day, I guess. Not as sticky. Wow. It's like magic. Do you believe in the magic of Mike and Ike? When you're riding down the road on your brand new bike and they see it like a star in the sky and then you need to say goodbye to the blue one. Uh-uh. Do you believe in magic? On the Mike and Ike, ride your bike down the street. Eat, eat, eat the Mike and Ikes. Ride your brand new bikes. If you have more than one bike, you're a rich kid. Ugh. My problem is, I like candy. And, and, and I mean, before I know it, they're gone. I mean, the box is empty. <sighs> Do you sometimes feel like a goldfish? This life is like a, a swimming bowl. And the goldfish live in the swimming bowl. You know, sometimes we're going along in our life and things are going great and all of a sudden, you know, someone drops some food and we're like, meh, squirrel. And we just like go swimming to the top. Hang on, I'm just gonna have one more. Um, and you know, at the end of your life, you die. You just whoop, flip right over, float to the top, become a buoy. 
And, you know, being a buoy is not a horrible thing. You know, if you were a bad fish, you might become a rusty buoy. And if you're a good fish, well, maybe, maybe you'll get painted. And then, you know, if you're a really bad buoy, you might rust. And you might be the spot where the birds sit. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a joke, okay? What do you get when Mike and Ike battle and the loser falls on the floor? The feet. You get it? The feet? Because they're on the floor and that's where defeat go.